So this is the 5 p.m. update from NHC, and as we can see here, Hurricane Dorian is at 110 miles per hour, so it's actually declined a bit. Uh, the track is relatively the same, still kind of projected to be off the coast of Florida here, and then to go all the way up to Canada and kind of off the coast of New England. And as we can see, by 2 p.m. Wednesday, it'll finally start to uh, really start to pick up in a northward uh, direction, so hopefully... We'll start to see confirmation of that later tonight or early tomorrow morning and then it'll ride up the coast although this 2 p.m thursday projection does look closer to the coast of south carolina so there might be you know an increased sort of uh impact chance there so if we look at the five day tropical weather outlook there's actually a lot more tropical disturbances after dorian we've got tropical storm fernand uh near texas and mexico we've got a disturbance out here I think this one's just projected just to kind of loop out and not really make landfall anywhere. But these ones over here, these could turn into massive hurricanes in the future, but it's still kind of early to, to tell right now. Uh, so if we take a look at the tropical storm force wind speed probabilities, as you can see all the way up the east coast, all the way to Maine, there's uh, you know like a 10% to 20% chance that you will get tropical storm force winds. And while not typically not deadly they can cause things like power outages for an extended amount of time especially you know there can be wind gusts that could be 60 miles an hour or even higher in tropical storm force winds so that's just the average speed at 39 miles per hour um, so these are the discussion notes if I go all the way to the bottom right now we're at 110 it's projected to stay at 110 for the next 36 hours that's interesting. Usually hurricanes do not stay at the same speed. They usually go up or down, so I don't know. This doesn't feel very accurate to me, but that's just my own opinion. And then it looks like it's going to start to decrease. Um, although it's still going to be a hurricane four days from now. So four days from now, you know, wow. So <laughs> basically all the way until Saturday, it's still projected to be a hurricane. Wow. So that's, that's fascinating. Um, so here are the spaghetti models so most of them are saying they're going to stay off the coast it looks like we still have one saying it's going to make impacts uh into the coast of north carolina um, but a lot of them are saying it's going to stay off the coast but again you know several like more than three days out it's really just a guess i mean they're all guesses but three days out like so much can change you know so uh this is the model intensity guidance so it looks like uh, it's going to be Cat 3, a lot of models are predicting, and then it's going to start to drop down like we saw uh, in the forecast discussion notes. And uh, let's see if there's anything more in the forecast discussion. So Dorian has finally begun a more definitive northwestward uh, motion this afternoon. The uh, Geo ES-16 imagery with the large eye becoming a little more apparent. So it looks like it's trying to reform the eye right now. Pretty interesting. Uh, Dorian is now moving northwestward, uh, the deep layer through, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it looks like it's still not moving very fast. Does it say specifically how fast it's moving? Okay, so it's moving northwest at 6 miles per hour. So it's moving a little bit faster than it was yesterday. I believe it stalled out completely or like was moving 1 mile an hour, so it's moving a little bit faster. But uh, yeah, it should be pretty interesting to see it really start to take a northward path here and kind of see where it goes even after that. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to be continuing to make videos on the storm. So if you want more updates, be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thank you for watching.